Boris the Wolf is a main character throughout the Bendy series. Boris was a cartoon character at Joey Drew Studios and was very likely created by Henry Stein before he left the company. Boris appeared in many cartoons and he was one of the big three characters at the studio. Joey Drew had the Gent Corporation make the Ink Machine, which would produce living cartoon characters. The first Ink Machine attempt created the Ink Demon, a twisted monster made in Bendy's image. After this, Joey decided that the Ink Machine's creations needed human souls. The machine created many Borises, but there's not many left. However, it's never clearly stated in the games whose soul was used to create the main Boris in the series. A popular fan theory was that Boris was Wally Franks, the former janitor at Joey Drew Studios. However, Bendy in the Ink Machine Chapter 5 confirms he's still alive, so that's not the case. In the Dreams Come to Life book, the main character Buddy becomes Boris the Wolf. However, those books are non-canon, but some still believe that Buddy is Boris due to multiple references to Buddy. Regardless, Boris is a very goofy and fearful character, but a reliable friend. We'll see more of that when we cover Bendy in the Ink Machine. Boris is one of the many inhabitants in the Cycle, a reality that Joey created using the machine. Joey used the Cycle to torment his own version of Henry Stein. There are many Borises in the Cycle. Most of them have been gutted by Alice Angel, but there's another living Boris clone named Tom. I have videos about Tom and Alice if you're interested in learning more about them. Boris is the protagonist in Boris and the Dark Survival, which is getting a major update that will rebrand the game as Bendy Lone Wolf. In this game, Boris searches for supplies across the studio while evading the monsters hunting him down. The Ink Demon is one of the many creatures that's after Boris. I made a video about the Ink Demon if you're interested in learning about his story. Despite being a simple game, Dark Survival has multiple endings and story moments. Across the studio, Boris collects paper scraps and uses them to create art representing his former self. Interacting with this triggers one of the game's endings. There are also tapes in the gutted Boris clones that tell the story of a woman named Mila, who's trapped and needs Boris to save her. When Boris finds Mila, it's revealed that she's actually Alice Angel, who lied about Mila to lure Boris to his doom. Boris runs and manages to escape her. In the Unleashed update, Boris finds keys across the studio and opens a cage, which releases the Butcher Gang, who he continues to encounter throughout the studio. If Boris collects enough ink hearts, he can also encounter the Projectionist. Boris and the Dark Survival will have a proper story conclusion when the Lone Wolf update releases. If you're interested in the upcoming Lone Wolf update, I made a video discussing it. In Bending the Ink Machine, the ink replica of Henry meets Boris at the end of Chapter 2. Boris lets Henry stay at his safe house and the two become friends. Later in Chapter 3, Henry decides to continue his quest to escape the studio, but Boris doesn't let him go until Henry makes him some lunch. After Henry makes Boris some bacon soup, Boris gives Henry the lever to leave the safe house and proceeds to entirely ignore the meal Henry just made him. Henry leaves the safe house and Boris joins him. Henry travels through the darkness and keeps the light near Boris so he doesn't get scared. Eventually they're stopped by a closed door. Henry gives Boris the light and he crawls through the vent, then opens the door. Henry continues alone and is jump scared by a bendy cutout, but it turns out it was just Boris playing a prank on Henry. Boris gives Henry a gent pipe so he can defend himself, but it can also be used to hit Boris. Henry and Boris find another dead end, and they throw two levers at the same time to open the door. They both enter the elevator and meet Alice Angel on level 9. Boris rushes into Alice's lair and finds a room full of gutted and dismembered corpses. Alice tasks Henry with doing her errands, and in return she'll let him leave the studio. Being a true friend, Boris sits in the elevator and doesn't help at all. It's probably a good thing Boris didn't help Alice, because at the end of the chapter she repays them by dropping the elevator. Now come down and bring me back my Boris! It's the most perfect Boris I've ever seen, and I want it! I need it. I need it inside! The chapter ends with the elevator crashing and Alice dragging Boris away. In chapter 4, Henry sets out to save Boris. Henry is unable to save Boris before Alice guts him and turns him into Brute Boris, a monstrous version of the once friendly wolf. At the end of the chapter, Henry enters the haunted house to save Boris, but he's too late. <gasps> Boris! No, oh, no, what has she done to you? During the boss fight, Brute Boris will eventually start to bleed ink, and Henry can use this to create a gent pipe or a plunger from the ink maker. After hitting Boris once, he'll start using jumping attacks against Henry. When hitting Boris for a second time, Brute Boris will start to grab cards from the haunted house and throw them at Henry. 
A third and final attack takes Boris down for good. Boris's fate is incredibly tragic, and I remember it being really upsetting when Chapter 4 released. In the Chapter 5 audio log teasers, Henry mentions Boris and expresses guilt about not being able to save him. In times like this, I wish Boris was still with me. He didn't say much Boris, but he was a good friend to have. I miss him. I just couldn't save him. Towards the end of Chapter 5, inside the giant ink machine, Henry finds an inky Boris, and this might be Boris being reborn after he died in Chapter 4. Bending the ink machine ends with Henry playing the end reel and resetting the cycle, and the events of the game happen all over again. After the events of Bendy and the ink machine, Joey dies and his friend Nathan Arch buys the Bendy brand to continue his legacy. Nathan's company, Archcape Pictures, takes all the Bendy items from Joey's apartment, which includes the ink machine that created the cycle. Nathan's son Wilson notices the ink machine and begins to investigate it. Wilson enters the cycle, and using his creations known as the Keepers, he disrupts the story from Bendy and the Ink Machine. In Bendy and the Dark Revival, Boris is still alive due to the cycle's events being altered. However, Boris sadly isn't in the game much. Boris can be seen walking towards Heavenly Toys at the start of the game, and he goes into the same vent from Chapter 3 of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Later in Chapter 4, Boris can be seen crawling through the vents of the Gent Workshop, and that's all Boris' appearances in this game. While I'm very disappointed with the lack of Boris in this game, we are getting a big update to Bendy Lone Wolf, which will add a story conclusion to the game, so I'll be sure to take a look at that in the future. At the end of Bendy in the Dark Revival, Audrey resets the cycle and seems to take control of it, but Gent takes the machine, so the future is uncertain. Upcoming games include Bendy the Cage, Bendy 3, and Silent City. Bendy the Cage is about Henry escaping the Keeper's prison and coming to help Audrey at the end of Bendy in the Dark Revival. It's possible we could see Henry and Boris reunite in the Cage. It'd be a nice moment after Henry failed to save Boris. Boris could also appear in Bendy 3, which is the conclusion of the main Bendy storyline. Silent City is another upcoming Bendy game, but one that doesn't have a clear placement in the story. Regardless, it's very likely that Boris will appear in it. We know for certain that Boris will be in the non-canon Dreams Come to Life graphic novel, so we can look forward to that. While Boris's role in the series is unclear for now, I hope we see him return as a main character. If you liked this video, I have more Bendy content on my channel. If you're a fan of horror games, I also have Five Nights at Freddy's and Poppy Playtime videos. If you want to help fund future content, please consider donating to our Ko-Fi. Thanks for watching, and check out some of my other videos.